Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at a double angle formula. We're going to be trying to find the sine of 2 theta. All right, for reference we have the double angle formula for sine up here in the corner, 2 times sine times cosine. All right, now for the most part um, I break this up into three steps. All right, my first step is I take a look at everything that they give me and I draw my bow tie triangle. All right, and then uh, if need be, I use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I find all the missing sides of that bow tie triangle, so then I can find the missing parts or whatever I need to be able to complete this formula. All right, um, step two then would be to find any needed values that I don't already have. So find any needed values. All right, so in other words, they've already given me the sine value, which is right there. I only need to find cosine, okay? So I would, in this step, be finding cosine, all right? And then step three would be to just use the formula, okay? And since they're for sine of two theta, there's only one formula, then I would be using the two times sine of theta times cosine theta. All right, so with that all laid out here, we're going to take a look at this right here. All right, this is 270 degrees, and this is 360. So this tells me that theta is in the fourth quadrant. So when I draw that bow tie triangle, I'm going to draw it in the fourth quadrant. All right, so there's my bow tie triangle with my theta right there in the corner. Okay, now sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So then that's going to tell me how to label my sides. All right, opposite side over here is 12. All right, but it is going down. So it makes sense that it would be a negative 12. Hypotenuse is going to be 13. Now, some of, some people will know the Pythagorean triple here. All right, if you do, great. You can just go ahead and fill in that other side. If you do not know your Pythagorean triples, then you're going to go a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and you're going to plug in to find, all right? So we'll leave the a squared being the side up here I'm trying to find, our negative 12 squared there, and then our hypotenuse of 13 squared, all right? That'd be an a squared plus 144 equals 169. Subtract 144 from both sides. a squared equals 25. That's going to give me an a value of 5. So then I know that this side of that triangle is 5. All right, so you'll do that if you do not know your Pythagorean triples, fill that in. All right, now we're going to use this bow tie triangle, and we're going to find any values that we don't already know. Like I said, we know sine because they gave it to us. I need cosine. So cosine theta, well, we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to come back to the triangle that I created. My adjacent side is 5. My hypotenuse side is 13, so that makes this value 5 over 13. Okay, now I can come over here and I can use my formula because I have everything I need. All right, 2 is in the formula. Sine theta is a negative 12 over 13. Cosine, which I calculated, is 5 over 13. Okay, then it's a straight, multiply straight across the top, multiply straight across the bottom. You can't do this without a calculator. 5 times 2 is 10 times that negative one, uh, 12 right there, which would be a negative 120 on top. 13 times 13 there on the bottom is going to be a 169. So a pretty straightforward um, double angle formula. They give you information. You have to figure out what information you need and how to go about finding it. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.